Hey, I'm Ryan Turk, the managing editor of ShockTillYouDrop.com, and welcome to another edition of Choice Cuts. Today, I am joined by Katie Lotz. Katie, how are you? I'm good. Nice Thank to you. have you on the show. Glad to be here. I, I have to tell you, um, one, you were on one of my favorite shows ever. You had a small turn on Mad Men. Mad Men, I'm a huge fan of that. So, thank you. Uh, Thanks what, for tuning in. <laughs> what's John Hamm like? He's awesome. That's um, cool. That's all I needed to know. No, awesome. he We're really done. is. Like, he yeah. really is that, like, man's man and just, like, he's not at all, like, Hollywood. He's so, yeah. he's so, like, down to earth. He's, he's. He's a cool man, cool. sexy man. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure it's a privilege to be on a show like that. You know, you get a, a wide exposure on something like AMC, and it's like, Yeah, boom. it's it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, Katie is uh, the star of a new film called The Pact, which is now on VOD. It's hitting uh, theaters on July 6th, and um, I wholeheartedly recommend seeing it in theaters because just the communal audience experience is going to be really cool, and the sound design is really great, and uh, writer-director Nicholas McCarthy de definitely directed something that is pretty super cool, I thought. Yeah, it's way scarier when you see it in theaters because yeah. you have everyone else jumping and screaming. I saw it the first time like with my managers in a... And then the next time I saw it in a theater, and it was like a world of difference. And when you saw it in a the theater, that was at uh, because Sundance. of Sundance. Yeah. yeah. What was the reaction like? The crowd reaction. They were like everyone was screaming, and uh, yeah, it was scary. Everyone's doing the whole like yeah grabbing on, and yeah. I was actually scared, That's even cool. though I knew it was going to happen. Can you tell us a little bit of what the, what the pact is about? Yes, um, my character Annie. She she's kind of she had a really rough childhood, and. Her dad wasn't around. Her mom abused her and her sister. They were like really crazy religious. And so she she left home when she was like 16 and just trying to avoid it. And after her mother dies, she has to go back home to kind of deal with things. And when she gets there, her sister goes missing. And all of a sudden, some scary shit starts <laughs> happening in the house. And she basically goes through hell and uh, has to try to figure out what's going on. And a lot of twists and turns, what happens, I don't want to give anything away. No, of course. Uh, you co-star in the film with Agnes Bruckner, who plays your sister, mm -hmm. and then Casper uh, Van Dien from Starship Troopers uh, is the detective that helps you out, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. What was what was Casper like? I mean, he, this, it was kind of a role that we've never seen him in before. Yeah, Casper, he's such a cool guy. They kept trying to make him not so handsome, you know, like... Give him a gruff. Rough like, him <laughs> up, like put him in crappy clothes, but it's... He, no matter what, he always looks handsome. I'm just yeah. like, you are so handsome. Like, get out of here. <laughs> the first time the project was brought to you, did you have any expectations before he was like, here's the script? What did, how did he kind of uh, pitch the project to you? They sent me the script and they sent me the short uh, that Nick did at Sundance the year before. Right. And I, I loved the script. I thought it was something, because when I read it, it, it didn't, it, I was scared when I was reading it, and the character to me was something very different than anything I've played, and I loved the toughness about her. I love, you know, she she just had so many things going on, and she goes through so much, and she's such a strong character, and she's never dumb in the movie. You know, it's like, you don't, you know, sometimes you watch it, and you're like, just get out of the freaking house, and she's always smart, and, you know, she's she's a fighter, and... Uh, so I loved that about it. And when they sent me the script, I loved it. And I went in to read for Nick. He later told me, he was like, I knew as soon as you walked in the room. He was like, I was just praying, like, once you opened your mouth, like, you were good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, from there, it was like, okay, let's do this. Well, it's a, certainly not only just an emotional role, but it's also a physical role. I, I started as a dancer. I started working as a dancer first. And um, that brought me into martial arts. And I started doing martial arts. And then that brought me into like the stunt world, doing the fighting and like wire work and stuff like that. So um, I've I've done that all that stuff before, and it's fun to me to. So you can kick all of our asses right now. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to somebody who you know pretty much has seen like a lot of supernatural films, how does this one separate itself from the pack? It's not just like a ghost story. There's like all these twists, and I think the way that Nick did the film is pretty awesome because it has that slow burning tension that kind of keeps you there the whole time. It's not like a, a, you know, cheap shots where you're just like, you know, jumping out all the time. It, it kind yeah. of brings you along and he really did a lot with like character and story. 
it's got all those elements that sometimes I think horror movies lack. You're carrying us through this whole thing uh, in a lot of moments of just quiet time, you know, you creeping around the house, you being attacked. Did you feel at all like challenged or daunted by like taking on this movie and going, okay, a lot of this is on me now? You know, no. I, I've been asked that a few times and to me it's like I'm going to do the same job with one scene that I would with a whole movie. It's just more of it. It's a little bit more work because you don't have like off time. You're in every scene. But I, I never really thought about, you know, like, oh, God, like, be really amazing like, <laughs> while you're walking through this hallway because, yeah. you know, you can't do anything other than just do, be real and do what you're doing and hope that it comes off. So I, I didn't really feel the pressure of it. I enjoyed it. I liked it. Nice. Do you really ride a motorcycle? No, that's the only stunt that I have, in my entire career, the only stunt that I didn't do. And I would have loved to learn how to, to ride, but yeah. of course we don't have the time. And if I got hurt, we'd be kind of screwed. So yeah. um, we had to There was to one double. moment where you're wearing nothing but like a shirt and like short shorts, hop, getting ready to hop, hop on your motorcycle. I'm like, that's gonna burn her thighs. I don't know <laughs> what she's thinking. That is not safe. <laughs> Get off the motorcycle. Thankfully, the little girl came out and told you not to, you know. You yeah, need helmet, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Right. It's a nice bike in the movie. Really nice bike. And yeah, that like, wow, thing is like, I think Nick said that he found, um, they were like just on the street and they see this bike somewhere and they're like, that's the bike that she needs to ride. Nice. And so they contacted the guy like, hey, can we use your bike for this movie? <laughs> and that bike is, it's old. I think it's from like the 70s. 70s yeah. So it, you know, wasn't an easy, easy bike to ride. So I, I think that would have been a good reason to have a double two. <laughs> it's not an easy one. <laughs> I'm curious, uh, you know, having been around the genre block a little bit yourself now, uh, what horror films have impressed you over the last couple of years? I just, I get scared like really easily and then it stays with me for weeks. <laughs> so I don't like to watch scary movies because then it's like I hear something like, what's that? <laughs> like, and then I'm paranoid. Um, but I, I mean, my favorite scary movie of all time is The Shining. Yeah. And I like things that are a little bit more psychological and anything that's not a slasher. Because I'll be like nauseous watching all the blood and gore and stuff like that. Yeah, surprisingly, this film keeps that back. There's not too much blood and gore, which is yeah. nice, refreshing. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, did you take uh, this character home with you? I mean, I can imagine, you know, after some of the scenes you have to film, where you're like looking at a, a closet that's all ominous and stuff, or being tossed around the house. I mean, did you take this, you know, take that feeling home with you? Uh, at the I, end of each shooting day? I took all the bumps and bruises home with me, <laughs> but. Um, no, I mean, I'm not like a crazy method actor that's like, you know, my everyone has to call me Annie for the next, <laughs> you know, six yeah. months while I prep. Um, but it does leak into your life. Characters always kind of leak into your life. There's like a residual, you know, feeling left in it. And when you're, your head's in it every day, when you go to set, you you kind of stick there. So I think I was probably a little bit more tough and like closed off for, <laughs> for a couple months, but... Uh, yeah, I think, you know, they, they slowly fade away. Having seen the, uh, the original short film yourself and now this feature, uh, what would you say any differences were? For those who have out there who have seen the short film and haven't seen the, the feature film yet, do you, did you notice any palpable differences? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's way different. It's a story about a brother and a sister, mm -hmm. and this is now two sisters. And, I mean, mostly it's like my character is just different. It's, it's really, they have, the one scene from the short is kind of in the film. Um, it's just a little bit worked differently, but you know, Nick said that the short was all about not seeing uh, what happens. It's all about the unknown. And with the film, he wanted it to be able to see. It's all about seeing what happens. Now, uh, what do you have coming up next? I mean, have, has MTV talked about a Death Valley season two at all? Right now, there'll be no season two uh, on death on MTV for Death Valley, unfortunately, yeah. um, and you know who knows maybe if your fans you know send the word right out there in. right into MTV right into Spider right into something post it see what happens you never know yeah um, but I have another film coming out in January that's called Battle of the Year mm -hmm. and it's a it's a pretty sick breakdancing movie it's like a big 3D um, production and it'll be out everywhere in January. And it's got a great cast, Josh Holloway um, from Lost, mm -hmm. Sawyer from Lost, and yeah. 
Um, Does he break dance? He's, he doesn't do too much break dancing. We were getting him to break off camera, uh, but in the movie he doesn't break that no much. There's no documented proof of Josh Holloway break dancing. I'm sure that well, we got some videos <laughs> out there somewhere. And like Chris Brown's in it, and yeah. he's an amazing dancer. Yeah. I, I was really surprised. I mean, I knew he was a good dancer, but like, the kid's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of fun. We shot in France, and then we shot here in LA, and it's got the best b-boys in the world, so it's, it's pretty fun. Was it uh, kind of a relief to kind of dive into a project where you're like, I get to use some of my skills from the, from the old days? It was, yeah. you know, because I was like, I, that dancing was such a huge part of my life, and breaking in particular, and I never had a part where I danced. I never danced in any film or TV, so it was really cool to kind of use it and... Um, if, when you see me dance on there, it's me. It's not a double. <laughs> Very cool. Well, it was great having you on the show. Um, I, I have to ask one final question. Did Nicholas ever talk about possibly a sequel to The Pact? Um, I don't think we ever talked about that. Yeah? So okay, fair you enough. You never know. Well, everybody, uh, check out The Pact on VOD now and uh, check it out in theaters on July 6th. Thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Glad to be here. Thanks. Cool. Thanks. Oh, God.